lot of brokers, they'll use industry standards uh, from the National Apartment Association Income and Expense Report. And that's a great report. And I like it a lot. But when you understand, you know, from the expense side, you know, the cost of actually running a property from the repairs and maintenance category, mm-hmm. the utilities, you know, how, how, how you know, shower heads affect things, um, the type of um, the, the type of tenant calls that you get on a regular basis because of how something is built. Um, you know, and so to be able to, to, uh, you know, give advice to owners as they're doing new construction on apartments, I walk through a lot of new construction assets while they're under construction with some of my customers. And I'll point to things like, dude, you, you, you cannot do that right there. Like that, that one's going to cost you money. I've seen it a million times. You're going to get 500 phone calls every two give me an years. Example. Give me a real life example. Um, you know, actually, actually a big one that I, that I like is sort of on the opposite side is I, oftentimes, uh, when, when folks are putting in closets and bedrooms, there's oftentimes a lot of space between the top of a closet and the ceiling. And so what I've seen tenants love is, um, developers will put in, will cut out boxes above the closet that have doors that open up top. It's just like extra storage mm-hmm. or underneath staircases. There's, there's areas underneath there that people in apartments want storage, especially when they're retention, building homes. Right. That's right. Retention. So I'll, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Point, pointing out things like that. Some of the toilets and the shower heads that they use are sometimes really, really expensive, especially if it's going to be all on one rubs on, on a, on a uh, if it's electric, if it's water and sewer carried onto the buildings, there's just a bunch of little things as I'm walking through that I can point out. 